In this video, I want to show you how you can work with what I call XY data. That is data that includes the longitude and latitude of either events or places. By way of example, I have gotten the longitude and latitude coordinates for four rec centers in the Denver area. And you can see I have a column for facility, longitude, and latitude. What you would then do is file and save that as a CSV file. And make sure you save it to your general folder, not a geodatabase folder. So I've saved it here already in my general play folder outside of the play geodatabase folder. Okay. And notice that I'm saving it as a comma delimited file. Okay. I've already saved it, so I'm going to cancel out here. And then you want to shut down Excel once you've saved. Once you've saved that, you would go to catalog and you would look for it in your play folder or whatever folder you've saved it into. I see it here. If you don't, you can always click on the folder you're interested in, hit menu and hit refresh. Once you see it, you can click and drag that into your GIS. Then you would right click on it and select display XY data. Here it's reading the input table. The output feature class is where it is going to save and what it will be called. If you put the cursor over it, you can see the default location. So it's saving to my play geo database folder, which is fine. And then you can call it whatever you want. I am going to change the name just to XY points. X field is longitude, the Y field is latitude, and it's using a default coordinate system, which is fine. Go ahead and hit run. And then you can see that those facilities have been added to my map. Okay. So that's how you can translate coordinate data into points on a map.